Question. What is the SDA doctrine of the personality of God? Answer. Whatever it may be, Ellen White called it a foundation truth that is everything to us as a people. Letter 271b, 1903, paragraph 3, and Letter 300, 1903, paragraph 7. This tells us a couple of things. First, it's supremely important. Second, the SDA doctrine of the personality of God was understood by the SDA people at large. This second point is reinforced by the fact that Ellen White referred to it as a pillar of our faith and said the writings of the pioneers should be reprinted if and when pillars like this are threatened. Here's what she said that I'm referring to. Quote, Those who try to bring in theories that would remove the pillars of our faith concerning the sanctuary or concerning the personality of God or of Christ are working as blind men. When men come in who would move one pin or pillar from the foundation which God has established by His Holy Spirit, let the aged men who were pioneers in our work speak plainly, and let those who are dead speak also by reprinting of their articles in our periodicals. End quote. That's Manuscript 62, 1905, paragraph 14 and 20. The personality of God was revealed in some of Ellen's earliest visions, as you can read in Broadside 1, April 6, 1846, paragraph 7, and Early Writings, pages 54 to 55, page 77 and 92. Also, the pioneers taught clearly and directly on this point. Here are just a few examples of articles written on this subject by various pioneers. By James White, there's his article, Personality of God, and another, God is. By Augustine C. Bordeaux, The Hope That Is In You. By Uriah Smith, The Image of God. Is God a Person? By D. M. Canwright, The Personality of God. As I mentioned in the last episode, James and Ellen White personally assisted him with this article. R. F. Cottrell also wrote on the topic. One example is Man Made in the Image of God. And by J. N. Loughborough, Is the Soul Immortal? Subsection Is God a Person? I must stress that these articles are just a small sample of what the SDA pioneers wrote on the personality of God. It was a regular topic in their periodicals. Teresa and I have been going through every occurrence of the word person and its variants in early SDA writings. And yeah, there's a whole lot they had to say on this topic. So, with all that said, what did they say? What is the SDA doctrine of the personality of God? Reading the above articles makes it plain. For God to be a person means that he's a strictly material being with a body and parts in the shape of man occupying both space and time. The pioneers state it thus, quoting from D.M. Canwright in his article James and Ellen helped him with, quote, Now what is the meaning of the word person? It does not and cannot mean an immaterial, intangible, shapeless, formless essence. It always means an intelligent being having a body, shape, and form. The God of the Bible is not a mere principle, an essence or soul of the universe, but he is a real, personal being having a body, form, shape, and local habitation. End quote. Okay, just let that sink in. In fact, I'm going to read it again. This is D. M. Canwright from his article, The Personality of God, which is an article James and Ellen White personally helped him with. It says, quote, Now what is the meaning of the word person? It does not and cannot mean an immaterial, intangible, shapeless, formless essence. It always means 
an intelligent being having a body, shape, and form. The God of the Bible is not a mere principle, an essence or soul of the universe, but he is a real, personal being having a body, form, shape, and local habitation. End quote. Wow. Clear, right? We could spend all day on Canwright's article, but let's go on. A.C. Bordeaux said, quote, God is a material, organized intelligence, possessing both body and parts. End quote. That's from his article, The Hope That Is In You. Next, J.N. Loughborough wrote, quote, Christ is said to be the image of the invisible God. Christ has a body composed of substance, flesh, and bones, and he is said to be the image of the invisible God. God is a person with a body and form. End quote. Again, that was J. N. Loughborough in the Advent Review and Sabbath Herald, September 18, 1855. Lastly, let's hear from James White. He said, quote, God is a person, for he made man in his own image. So is his only begotten son. They both exist with body and parts. The Ancient of Days, or God, has a head and hair on his head and a body. End quote. That's James White from The Day Star, January 24, 1846. So, there you have it. This is the SDA doctrine of the personality of God. He is a real, material person. Not an essence, not a bodiless spirit, but a person, like you and me, composed of a body with parts and passions. Sadly, most SDAs have long forgotten this truth. Even while Ellen White was still alive, this pillar truth was being covered over. In Testimonies for the Church, Volume 8, page 291, Ellen said, quote, Already there are coming in among our people spiritualistic teachings that will undermine the faith of those who give heed to them. The theory that God is an essence pervading all nature is one of Satan's most subtle devices. It misrepresents God and is a dishonor to his greatness and majesty. End quote. Clearly, this is an incredibly important subject. And what you've heard here is just the beginning. To investigate this subject further, please check out the Personality of God tag on our website. This tag will connect you with everything on our website that relates to the Personality of God and more content will continue to be added over time. As you can probably guess by now, there's a link to the tag in the blog post. I really appreciate you joining me for these episodes. If you recognize the value of what we are talking about here, please share it with a friend.